Hi everyone and welcome. I'm Rosemary and in today's video I have some adorable and affordable Valentine edible arrangements. And the good news is I've made them with items that are still available. In a recent trip to Dollar Tree I was shocked to see that most of the Valentine merchandise was gone. This was on January 17th just a few days ago and almost a whole month before Valentine's Day. Mostly everything they had just a week or so ago was sold out and the Easter and spring merch was moving in. But that's okay. We'll just have to investigate other areas of the store to see what else we can use in conjunction with items like balloons and my oh-so-favorite Valentine orangutans that still seem to be available in abundance. As for the candy, they do have a little bit of the higher-end candy, but not as much as they used to, and I'll pick that up, but I'm also gonna head over to Walmart to pick up some more. Since mostly all of the Valentine-themed containers were gone, I headed over to the glassware section where they had one of my favorites back in stock, this ginormous beer mug, as well as sizable wine glasses. I also picked up these cheese shakers since I have an idea of how I can use these. So let's go ahead and start there. I thought it'd be fun to make an arrangement using this as a base. After washing and drying the shaker, I filled it with hot tamales, and it did take about two and a half boxes to fill the container. Next, I use a piece of plastic wrap to cover the top and help keep the candy fresh, since the shaker does, of course, have holes. I then refasten the lid and cut off any excess wrap around the edges. At Walmart, I found these adorable Twix Valentine candies that have half a message on each individually wrapped Twix. You find the matching half, and then one pair says, we're two of a kind, and another pair says, you're my better half. How cute are these? Then, to complement the red and gold packaging, I found these Reese hearts with red and gold foil wrappers. To make the arrangement, I started by cutting down two wooden skewers, one measured to seven inches, and then a second measured to eight inches. I then took pairs of the Twix bars and taped them together. Then I taped that combo, one to a seven inch skewer and the other to an eight inch one. Next, I made two more pairs and then taped those to full size skewers. Once I had my four Twix stems, I moved on to the Reese hearts. And for those, I'm going to make some rosettes. And to do that, I'm going to take two of the hearts and place some hot glue along the top and side edges of one of them, leaving the bottom without glue then place the second heart on top, back to back, holding the glue part down while still allowing that non-glued part to stay open at the bottom. After a few seconds, I add some hot glue to the bottom into that gap, insert the skewer, and then press down to seal. To jazz up the stems a bit, I glued cut pieces of this foil garland to the skewers under each of the candies. My Dollar Tree still had some of this garland around, but if they're sold out where you are, another option would be to use cut pieces of treat bags, which they still seem to have tons of, and just bunch that up around the candy pieces and tape into place. I also wanted to use one of those small balloons, but since the stick would be too thick to go through the holes in the cheese shaker, I removed the balloon from the stick by pressing in that little tab at the slot at the top of the balloon, then pulled the balloon out. Next, I taped it to a skewer that would fit through the holes. To cover and decorate the stick, I again used a piece of that foil garland. Now it was time to make the arrangement. So I started in that back hole, kind of has a star pattern on the lid, and I started with the balloon first in that back hole at the point of the star. The holes in the lid not only hold the skewers in place, but also help with the distribution of the components. Then the tamales underneath further support the skewers. The next items to go in were the four Twix skewers with the smaller skewers in the front bottom and in the back were the two taller skewers. Once those were in, I added the first set of Reese hearts to the upper back then two hearts to the middle front, then lastly, one heart to each side towards the bottom. For the next arrangement, I'm going to be using the large beer mug. This is one of my all-time favorite Dollar Tree glassware items, and it looks far more expensive than its $1.25 price tag. For this combo, we'll be doing some savory treats with these Jack Lynx products that I purchased from Dollar Tree. 
Dollar Tree also used to sell bags of peanuts in the shell, but my store didn't have, so I picked these up at Walmart. I like to use them to fill the mug. This way, they're not only decorative fill, but also hold the components in place and are also part of the gift. I'll again be attaching skewers to the components with tape, and I'll attach the skewers to the long sticks, as well as the meat and cheese combo packs. For the small bag of jerky, I'm going to fold the bottom corners in and tape them down. Then go ahead and attach a skewer. To make some decorations, I cut pieces of the foil garland and again glued it with hot glue to the skewers and I made four pieces. Among the items Dollar Tree seemed to have in stock were also cards. And some of the cards are really nice like this one and I'm going to actually use the front of this one to create another decoration. To assemble, I'm going to start with the three original sticks towards the back. And I just slid the skewers down right into the peanuts. Next, I placed the two hot sticks in front of those and the spaces in between. And then it was time for the meat and cheese combo packs. Then the small bag of beef jerky to the front. Then the decorations are added to make it nice and festive. Then that adorable orangutan just seals the deal. Another Valentine item that Dollar Tree seemed to have a decent stock of were these small arrangements. I wasn't wild about that pink bottom, so I undid the holder and cut the stems from the base. There was something about this arrangement that I thought would look great under glass. So my intention was to use the Dollar Tree cylinder vase, but then I realized it was too narrow and that the flowers would get squished. A better option for the cylinder vase would be this stem with the smaller flowers, and I was going to use that combination, but then I remembered I had a canister whose lid I used for another project, and that would fit the first flowers perfectly. From there, I thought it would be neat to create a lid using one of these foam rounds from Dollar Tree and top the lid with some candy heart rosebuds. At Walmart, I found these red Hershey hearts with strawberry cream filling. But before I got to making the rosebuds, I wanted to finish off the edges of the foam round by just hot gluing on a piece of this black and white striped ribbon. Next, I used some Dollar Tree moss to just cover the top, and I just did that by hot gluing on pieces of the moss right to the top of the foam lid. And then just like the Reese hearts in the first project, I took one of the hearts and hot glued the sides and top, leaving the bottom open and unglued, and then placed a second heart on top back to back. And then in that gap on the bottom, I added a little more of the hot glue and then inserted a skewer. And then since these are going to be in a pretty shallow piece of foam, I just cut down that skewer to about a one inch length. Now for these, I did want to add some leaves. So I just had some leaves on hand because I have tons of leaves from older projects, but these just came from Dollar Tree stems and they were a little big for the size of the hearts. So I just cut them down to size a little bit. To attach the lid, I added some hot glue around the rim of the canister, and then I placed on top my moss-topped foam lid. Next, I was ready to add the rosebuds, and so I just began adding those along with the leaves right into the foam. I did one ring around the outer edge and then filled in in behind. And then to add a little decoration, I again took one of the Dollar Tree cards and I removed that applique on the front that says Happy Valentine's Day and taped that to a skewer. And then I just stuck the skewer into the foam and then along with a bow, this makes the perfect decoration for this arrangement. Then I wrapped the whole piece in cellophane for a festive finishing touch. And now here's another look at these first three 
arrangements in this series and this is part one of the series i will have part two out shortly so be sure to check back or better yet subscribe and you'll be the first to see the next episode as soon as it's published thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time